Memory item, stall warning at liftoff. A320, Mentor Channel. Hello guys. This is your Captain Mike speaking from the flight deck. Welcome on board of the A320 Mentor Channel. Today's tutorial will be about the stall warning at liftoff memory item. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's review some information about the stall recognition. Stall recognition. The flight crew must apply the stall recovery procedure as soon as they recognize any of the following stall indications. Oral stall warning. The oral stall warning is designed to sound when angle of attack exceeds a given threshold, which depends on the aircraft configuration. This warning provides sufficient margin to alert the flight crew in advance of the actual stall even with contaminated wings. Stall buffet. Buffet is recognized by airframe vibrations that are caused by the non-stationary airflow. Separation from the wing surface when approaching angle of attack stall. When the Mach number increases, both the angle of attack stall and coefficient of lift max will decrease. The oral stall warning is set close to angle of attack at which the buffet starts. For some Mach numbers, the buffet may appear just before the oral stall warning. Stall warning at liftoff. At liftoff, a damaged angle of attack probe may cause a stall warning to spuriously sound in the cockpit. If the oral stall warning sounds at liftoff, the flight crew must fly the appropriate thrust and pitch for takeoff in order to attempt to stop the oral stall warning and ensure a safe flight path. The flight crew applies toga thrust in order to get the maximum available thrust. Simultaneously, the pilot flying must target a pitch angle of 15 degrees and keep the wings level in order to ensure safe climb. Then, when a safe flight path and speed are achieved, if the oral stall warning is still activated the flight crew must consider that it is a spurious warning. Today we will taking off from runway 11 left in Noi Bay International Airport in Hanoi, Vietnam. At liftoff we will have an angle of attack damage, generating a spurious stall warning. Let's get into it. The flight crew applies the memory item and call out of stall warning at liftoff. Stall toga 15 degrees. Apply toga thrust in order to get the maximum available thrust. Simultaneously. The pilot flying must target a pitch angle of 15 degrees and keep the wings level in order to ensure safe climb. Then, when a safe flight path and speed are achieved, if the oral stall warning is still activated the flight crew must consider that it is a spurious warning. The flight crew must fly the appropriate thrust and pitch for takeoff in order to attempt to stop the oral stall warning and ensure a safe flight path, so after considering spurious warning, and about thrust reduction altitude, pitch 10 degrees and thrust set to climb to tent, and so on, about 10,000 feet pitch 5 degrees and climb to tent. So, here I concludes my tutorial about the the memory item, stall warning at liftoff. I hope that you have enjoyed it. This is your Captain Mike speaking from the flight deck. See you soon in another tutorial of the A320 Mentor channel. 
Fly safe. And be safe. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.